Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the upper hinge bushing on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now they use the same hinge bushing for both the fresh food door and the freezer door. We're going to show you how to change it on the freezer side because it is a little bit more difficult. We'll begin by removing the hinge cover. It's typically held in place with a single Phillips head screw at the back. Just remove the screw and the cover and set those aside. And we also need to disconnect that wire harness that goes down through the hinge. Just take a flat blade screwdriver. And there is a little bit of a locking tab on that large harness connector. I'm just gonna pry that away just enough that we can pull the harness apart. as well as the small one. Now next we're going to remove the hinge bolts. These bolts are typically a 3 8 hex head bolt. Now next, we'll need to lift that hinge off of the cabinet, pull it out of the hinge bushing on top of the door, and then we'll try to feed that harness down through the opening in the hinge. You may find it very difficult to get that large harness down through that opening and if so, we suggest that you cut that single wire and then splice it back together afterwards. Make sure you leave lots of length of wire there that we can reconnect that. Pull the single one through, and then you won't have any problem pulling that larger one through. We'll set the hinge aside. Now next we need to try and pry that old hinge bushing out of the door. And typically that plastic has gotten quite brittle, so it may break apart on you. But we'll start with a putty knife. You just go in under the edge. Try prying up on it. And you may need to take a small flat blade screwdriver all the way around the edge and pry that up. Now you may find that that bushing is that brittle that it breaks apart in pieces. We just keep chipping away at it, being cautious with the wiring that we don't damage that until we can get it pulled completely up out of that opening. And then slide it out over that harness connector. Take the new bushing, push our harness up through from the bottom. Make sure we removed all of the old pieces. And then we're going to tap that in place with a soft face hammer. And once we start to meet some resistance in tapping that in, we'll want to take a bushing or steel bushing or brass bushing, sit down over top of that 
so that we get a nice even surface to strike on so we don't damage our new bushing. Now, once we have it knocked in nice and flush, we'll uh, put our hinge back in place. Slide the wire harness up through from the bottom, along with that single harness lead. And we'll reattach the two mounting bolts. I always thread these bolts in by hand at first to make sure that we don't get them cross threaded. We won't tighten those just yet until we line up the door to make sure that we have it nice and straight. Next, we'll prepare the single wire harness to crimp that back together. Start by stripping back some of the insulation on that wire. And then we'll use an inline crimp connector to attach it. Make sure we prepare the other side of that as well. And we'll leave about a quarter to three eighths of an inch of bare copper on each of those leads. So we'll begin by sliding that connector over the end of the wire. And then we'll crimp that in place. And just tug on it, make sure we have a nice tight connection. Insert the other end and do the same. Now we'll reconnect those wire harnesses, make sure that the locking tab is engaging. Now next we'll want to make sure that we line that door up before we tighten those two hinge bolts. So just make sure we have a even gap between the refrigerator door and the freezer door from top to bottom. and then tighten those bolts securely. If you need to adjust that door, we simply need to pivot that hinge to make sure we have that proper gap. Next, we'll put the hinge cover in place. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.